I just pulled my cell phone out this morning and took this picture as soon as I saw this sight. There is moon out there and Venus right below the moon and I can see the stars in the Orion belt, Orion constellation. And I was thinking myself, what if, if I take my Dobsonian telescope out in the night and what if, if I can watch you know, the planets, the Saturn, the Jupiter, the Mars. And how does it feel watching the Orion Nebula in the Dobsonian telescope? I never knew I will actually play with one of these giant telescopes in my life. Yeah, it definitely requires a lot of planning. So I put this inexpensive camera, ZWO ASI 120MC. That's the camera I wanted to use to take pictures. And it got this one and a quarter eyepiece kind of a holder in front of it. And I'll put that into my one and a quarter adapter so I can actually take pictures. It's better than taking pictures with cell phone. But before you use the camera, you have to make sure your telescope red dot finder and any additional finder scope that you have, they both are collimated with your telescope. They need to be co-aligned with your telescope. So I did that one. It's difficult though. I still end up actually using an eyepiece to see it before I put my camera. You have to make your go to work on your telescope, you got to set the date, time, location, latitude, longitude. If you set all that up, it will give you like two stars. Pick those two stars that you have access to. If you have a bigger telescope, you got to have a step stool or a ladder to get up there to see the star is in the eye piece. The good thing is you only need to do like one star that way. Second star, it automatically takes you there. If it's not really in the eyepiece, you just make it centered with the eyepiece, like manually uh, using your keyboard, you're good. So, it's so windy out there. I finally found Jupiter with its moons. My God. This is huge. This gas chain to Jupiter is like two and a half times the size of all other planets combined. It's really a big planet. By the time I got to the sixth planet in the solar system, the one with the hula hoops, it was already 11 o'clock. It's an amazing planet with all those rings. This is what surprised me the most. At 5 a.m. in the morning, I was looking at Orion Nebula, a close-up view using the Dobsonian telescope. I didn't know actually it will show color for a two seconds exposure. So I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see what actually I can see and what I can take pictures of. So I'll try to show you guys the best possible results from the Dobsonians.